Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. Last time we did the first five levels, this time we will continue on with adventure, but uh, for anyone wondering what these other buttons are, the minigames, the puzzle, and survival, we will get those along the way as we continue on the adventure. So let's just do that, because that's pretty much the only thing we can do as of now. I mean, with, with this early into the game. Figures. Alright, SM100's house. Oh, we have some pole vault vaulting zombies there. I saw them. Those are tricky bastards. I hate those. Basically because, you'll see. There's a reason I hate them. A very good reason. Anyway, last time we got our um, potato mines, so we're going to put some use into those at the beginning of this level. Because we don't have to waste 100 sun on a plant, on a peter eater for the first zombie. Instead, we can just arm a potato mine to kill the first zombie. So we can actually anticipate that where the second zombie is going to be with the first peter eater. And we can get up our sunflowers earlier, which is always a good thing. So that's a good thing that we have these um, potato mines, and that's what makes them extremely useful, really. Alright, the first one's going to be right here, so see? See, we only have, we have so much extra thing. Oh, spud out achievement. Probably for exploding a zombie with a potato mine. Yeah, we're much better off than we were at the beginning of the last, or the last level, probably. So that's why those potato mines are useful, and they'll, they'll actually be useful like that for the rest of the whole game, so... You know, it's good that we have them. Anyway, I probably didn't explain that this game is actually by PopCap, and if you don't know who PopCap is, they make several games such as uh, Bejeweled, that's a big one, um, Peggle, that's a fun one, a Chuzzle, which is extremely addicting, kind of like this, but not to the same extent. Um, what else is there? There's Bookworm. That's not... I'm, I'm not that into that game. Honestly. Oh god! The pole vaulters get on that thing. So as you can probably notice about the pole vaulters right off the bat is they run extremely fast. Well, compared to the other zombies, they're really fast. I mean, look at how fast it's catching up. I mean, it's almost all the way there. So you pretty much need two uh, Peter Eaters for this guy. And they're really annoying because uh, when they get to the first plant they see, they pole vault over it. So they don't have to eat, like, any walnuts that may be in the way. So they can just get to the meat of your army and just eat them all up. They can really catch you off... Uh, they can catch you off guard sometimes, and you really don't want that. So that's why it's useful to have maybe a couple plants up here, just in case, so you can stop them. Preferably walnuts or potato mines. Because if anything starts chowing on a potato mine, it's not going to come out alive. Most of the time. If they're still underground while they're arming up, then, you know, they'll be safe. Or, the zombies will be safe. Go ahead and make three rows of Peter Eaters here. I mean, well, we're not going to have time to do that. Not in this level. Alright, um, potato mine, why not? Actually, I should save up some for the cherry bomb so we can use it on the big thing. On the big, huge, uh, thing. That's what's just gonna be called, a big, huge thing. Wave. Alright, you're dead now. On with the huge wave of zombies. And the final wave, no less. I'm not sure when it starts giving us two flags. I'm pretty sure it does that in the first world. Nah, you get out of here. I don't even want to see your face. I exploded quite a few of them. I know there's, a, there's an achievement for exploding... Ten zombies with one cherry bomb. I'll try to get that sometime. We also have to take a look-see at the achievements. Although we're really not going to be able to get any of them, or a lot of them, until way later in the game. Anyway, snow peas! These guys are fun. It's pretty much good to have at least one of them on each row. Shoots frozen peas that damage and slow the enemy. Snow peas, yes indeedy. As you can see, they cost 175 cents, so that's more than anything we have so far. So we're going to want to use them conservatively. But I'm probably going to put, like, maybe one in each row. Because they'll do just as much damage as a pea shooter, but they'll also slow down the enemy, so... And it's pointless to have more than one on one row, because you already have another snow pea already slowing down the zombies. So you wouldn't need two on the same row, because it'd be pointless. 
At that point, really. Yeah, come and eat my t potato mine, you noob. Ah, gotta love those potato mines, and we'll get several other items that will act such a, or act similar to the potato mines. Be useful. Such as, uh, well, I'm not gonna spoil it, so. Such as something. Just leave it at that for now. Anyway, let's see if I can work in a snow pea on the... No, I'll uh, put him on the second row. Not that much harm. And I could start putting sunflowers on the second row if I felt like it now, but I don't think I'm going to start doing that until a lot later. Because I don't see the point currently. God, I haven't played the beginning of this game for such a long time that I'm wondering when I'm going to get so many features because this is the complete basics of the game. You unlock so many things going through the adventure. I mean, even when we're done the, with the adventure, it seems like the adventure is the only thing we can do on this game. But no, there's going to be like 20 episodes after the advent after the main adventure of just extra content. And that's what I love about this game. There's so many things to do in it that you never get bored. Now I'm going to start seeing if I can put out some snow peas. Maybe two, because I don't want to waste that much sun on them. Don't They're not really imperative to the mission right now. Especially... Oh, wait, hold on. Look at that. We have two flags now. So we probably will have time to put a whole row of snow peas. Just in case, I'm going to leave this row open for any snow peas that we're going to want. Yeah, as you can see, they're going at like half speed as all the other zombies. That's useful whenever, you know, you have huge rows of zombies, because... The nice thing about slowing them down is it's a domino effect. You see, once you start slowing down the zombie in front, then the zombies behind them will start catching up, and once they get in front of the slowed down zombie, then this will be able to hit that zombie then, and they'll also get slowed down. I mean, you just gotta love it. Just that domino effect of just owning everything. Seems like we're getting lucky on the snow pea placements. Usually what snow peas will do... Hold on, listen to this. They have a nice little sound effect to them. Uh, usually what the snow peas will do is they're going... They'll like... What was I, what was I gonna say? I don't even remember anymore. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I do know. Um, sometimes they'll like slow down a computer just because... I don't know why. Just because of the extra effect from the back, I guess. Because uh, sometimes if you're playing this on like a really slow computer, then uh, using ice items will slow it down. I'm not sure why that particular reason is, so but it happens. It'll slow down here. Look at this. See, I told you. Told you. Slow down everywhere. P please, this computer. Ah, we don't need that. Yeah, it's done now. <laughs> funny how just when I was saying that, it starts doing that. That's funny. Actually, no, it's not. It's not funny. You! Now you're going to be going pretty much the speed of a normal zombie when you're slowed down. Actually, I think it still goes slower or faster than the normal zombies. Well, if some of these zombies weren't slowed down, I mean. Mm, let's go ahead and start putting out some normal pea shooters in front of them. Because we certainly have the sun to do so. And with two flags, you can't underestimate two flags, bro. You can't. You just can't. And we definitely have enough sun. Alright, so yeah, as you can see it's pretty much completely pointless to put two rows of sunflowers this early on. But later in the game you're gonna need them. You really are. I mean, I'm even pushing it with a whole row of 175 cost. Get out of here. I don't want your crap. Actually, no, it seems to go the same speed as the normal zombie, so there you go. It goes twice the speed. Anyway, yeah, this this game looks a real like really simple and like easy at the beginning but trust me we're get, we're going to be getting into the hard mechanics of this game later and god is it going to be fun and painful the whole way all right also um i guess you could say i'm kind of doing this game because uh plants vs zombies 2 is coming out this summer the summer of 2013 and god i can't wait for it i mean this game for me has lasted this long. I still love it. Just imagine how good Plants vs. Zombies 2 is. And really, I don't see much that they could improve on for the game, so I'm excited to see what they're doing. Also, when I was in Thailand, like over, I think it was a month ago or so, uh, I was in Thailand, there was this mall that had a place called Mario Land. 
and it is referring to the video game Mario. And it was like this video game kind of arcade area. Like, imagine a really small Chuck E. Cheese. Will you die so the big place will come out? Yeah, usually the huge waves won't come out until this zombie is dead, or the last zombie. Uh, but if it takes too long for it to die, then it'll go ahead and come out anyway, because if that was the case, then you could just stall it and collect a whole crap load of sun. Uh, but while I was there, they had a couple of, um, they had a couple of, like, claw games, and, you know, the really impossible to win games. Uh, there was a Plants vs. Zombie claw game, and there were, like, there were pea shooters, there were sunflowers, and there was all kinds of things, but I think what I got out of it was a cherry bomb. I mean, it looks like a cherry bomb, uh, but notice how the stem's off the top. It had a stem out the bottom, and it had the leaves there, so I'm pretty sure it was a cherry bomb because it was red it looked like a cherry and it had the eyes but I don't know that's just a weird error it made anyway these guys these guys are fun these are pretty much your Venus flytraps they're fun like I said devours a zombie whole dear god and but is vulnerable while chewing so it's basically like it's like a potato mine in the fact that it takes one zombie out at a time though we have more than we can hold now so now we actually have to choose our plants um you can take out more than zombie more than one zombie though like it'll take a while to recharge after eating a zombie but and it also won't take time to recharge once you put it down or charge up like the potato mine does so i'm gonna go ahead and use that and they're beautiful for using along with the walnuts because if you put a walnut in front of this guy then it'll actually eat the zombie that's in front of the walnut so that's an interesting combination that you can do there getting into the strategies that you can use for this game. Pea shooters actually get used through the whole game, so that's one strategy that we're going to be using. Anyway, as you can see, we had to choose our plants a little while back, and there was a whole bunch of room for other plants. So, yeah, that, if that shows how many plants there are, then, well, it does. And that's a lot of plants. I think it's somewhere around 50, maybe. But it's a lot of plants, so no worries. You'll be getting a lot more than what we have now. I decided to exert the snow peas because we won't really need them that much. Uh, they're just there if you use them. I mean, they're ha they happen to be nice to use. Although I don't really care for them that much. Pretty much never use them because there's an item later in the game that makes them obsolete. So There's actually a couple of items that make them obsolete. So there you go. They're plants, not items. I'm still used to Legend of Zelda, excuse me. They're not items. Oh, why not? Do I really care at this point? <laughs> Just put crap out there. Hmm. I wonder when we'll be getting another item. Or another mechanic in this game. I'm excited to see it. In the iPod version, you actually have it by now, but I'm not sure when we're going to get it. Maybe after level 10. As you can see, it's kind of a similar similar layout to Mario, like the original Mario Bros. Where it has the world number and then the level number. Except each world in this game has 10 levels. I'm not going to give out how many worlds it has just yet, though. I'm going to leave it as a little surprise for the people who don't know. Excuse me. Alright, so... Do it... Oh god, bucket zombies, bucket heads. Okay, these guys take a whopping 50 peas to kill. So, we're just gonna let him blow up. Yeah, you're pretty much always going to want to either blow them up or, you know, have these guys eat them. Oh no! Oh, thank god, that was perfect timing. Anyway, once I get the. Oh, we're not gonna have time to use this chompers in this level. Might as well, though. I mean. All right, here we go. We'll just put him here. And once we get 50 sun, we'll put a walnut in front of him so he doesn't get devoured by this one. Here we go. Oh no, this guy died first. As you can see, he's chomping for the zombies, and if anything chomps on the thing in front of him, then he'll eat it. Yeah, ironic, isn't it? The zombies that are trying to eat the plants get eaten by the plants. Gotta love it. Oh, this guy's gonna get blown up by this. Ugh, not that it matters. Alright, so we are... Once we kill these three zombies, we should be at the huge... The huge wave of zombies. As you can notice, these guys actually... Um, they reload up. Or they... They cool down a lot faster than most other 
plants, but that's because they're not very practical in most uses. They're just fun to use. Also because they look awesome. And this guy just now swallowed that zombie that I was eating. So that's about how long it took for it to eat one zombie, so it's not really that useful, once you think about it. Because it takes a really long time. Oh god, I don't want to deal with that guy. Oh, and if your zombies end up eating the cherry bomb before it explodes, it will not count as an explosion. So, you're going to make sure you don't put it like in the middle of a million zombies that are going to eat it before it explodes. Just a word of caution before you end up doing that. Anyway, these guys are repeaters. They fire two peas at a time, so they're basically a pea shooter, except doubled. And they're what we're going to use. Because they're just as useful as the pea shooters. I mean, they're just as sun efficient. Go ahead and get these guys. Ah, uh, chompers. Why not? It's inconsequential to me what I choose. Alright, here we go. Sunflower. So this is uh, the last normal level of this world. And we still haven't unlocked that thing that I thought we were going to unlock. Oh well, I guess it comes at the end of the world or something. Anyway, go ahead and plant our sunflowers as usual. I mean, this is how we're going to um, open up almost every single level. And you'll see what I mean by almost. In a couple of levels, actually. Here. Have a dude. Potato mine. You know, I think the thing that most appeals to me about this game is either the music or the fact that it's so laid back that it's not even funny. I mean, you can just like, if you have a good setup already done, then you can pretty much just like go make a sandwich or something while your plants are killing the zombies, and that's what I love about it. I mean, you can't really do that with other tower defense games, can you now? Oh, look, this guy. Two peas at once. Gotta love it. It's gonna take this guy out in no time question is, are we going to have enough sun to put him out uh, the whole row? Without dying, that is. Because once, uh, I don't think I've even said this, once a zombie gets uh, the lawnmower to run over the lawn... Oh, talk me. Um, once it gets the lawnmower to run mow over the lawn, um, if another zombie gets through, then it'll come inside your house and eat your brains. So I haven't explained it yet, we're on our front lawn. And our house is back here, and all the zombies are coming from the streets. So yeah, that's basically our setup here. If we put up a repeater soon, we'll be able to kill this guy. Come on, game. There we go. Nice. Um, even a repeater by itself, though, won't be able to kill a bucket zombie. So you're pretty much going to always have to blow them up, unless you have, like, maybe uh, three repeaters. Because that's, I don't know. How many shot rounds is, of shots is it getting off on him? And is he going to live? Yeah, there you go. Go ahead and put these on the rows we don't have them. So bucket zombies at this point in the game are basically invincible unless you one-shot them. <laughs> one-shot them, as if this is an FPS. But no, this is a strategy game. As I said, you can probably compare it to balloons or something. Can I please get something to eat it? Thank you. Even, that, that, even though that took up all of our money, I don't care. I mean, we'll leave them here. There's no reason to get rid of them. I mean, even if you did have, like, plants up here that are pretty much useless, you don't get a refund in sun whenever you dig them up, so it's pretty much pointless to dig them up. Because even though they're doing nothing, I mean, if they do do nothing, like, if it's a chomper that's up here and already has a zombie in its mouth, it will slow down the zombies that are going to, like, come up. They'll come up and they'll stop to eat on it, so pretty much pointless to get rid of any plants unless you plan on replacing it. And we probably won't do that too much in this. Except in later in the game. When, once we get later in the game, the shovel will become a lot more practical. Go ahead and put that in the middle there. So if, essentially what we have here is two rows of pea shooters here and four rows of pea shooters here. So you can see how efficient they are with just taking up one spot. It's really nice. And it's pretty much what I'm going to use for most of the time. I'm, I usually don't use normal pea shooters anymore, so... There you go. And that's actually... Oh, no, we have two peas. Or, yes, we have two peas. No, we have two flags this round. Or, level. I'm going to get so many words mixed up. Oh, yeah, these repeater guys are also going to be able to take out these guys without any assistance. So, there you go. That, if that doesn't show how much you should love the repeaters, then I don't know what will. 
And that should kill him. That should kill him. There we go. I think the javelin zombies might actually... No, they're not javelin zombies. What are they? Pole, pole vault zombies. Oh god, we're gonna have to blow this guy up. The, the pole vault zombies, I think they might actually take a couple more hits than a normal zombie. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look that up. Yeah, as you can see, even two rows of uh, uh, repeaters can't knock the... Actually, no, that would have worked. We didn't have to blow them up. Never mind then, it only takes one repeat or two repeaters to kill him. Uh, you learn something new every day. It's not really that often that I use pea shooters with how far I am into the game. Or repeaters, I mean. Because there's, there's upgrades to pretty much everything you see on the screen right now. Or at least a better plant to replace it. There we go. I'd say this is a pretty solid defense, so we really don't have to do anything else. I guess I'll pick up the sun just in case something goes horribly wrong. So let's see. These two repeaters should be able to knock out this bucket zombie. You can start when he's starting to get weak because the bucket falls off of his eye or something. Although I do think it's going to take out this zombie. I don't think we're going to have quite enough time to take out this one. So I'm going to go ahead and have a chomper eat it. Because why not? I mean we have the sun. It's not like we need to save sun. Alright, once we kill these couple of zombies, we should be on the huge thing. As you can see, we're getting slow down right now. Well, a little bit. There was for a second there. Just imagine how it's going to be when we get a little farther into the game. God, that'll be crazy. Huge wave of zombies approaching! Darn right they are. So, we're going to get our zombies. There we go. Alright, we have a javelin on the top. Pole vaulting zombie. Uh, but we have some, we have a bucket zombie on the bottom, and I don't want that to live. Nom. Speed up the process just a tiny bit. And we don't have to have it eaten, yay. So, won't kill them. As I said, level 10 is special, so we will be getting, not a plant, but a note. Hello, we are about to launch an all-out attack on the, your house. Sincerely, the zombies. Oh, that's nice of them to tell us. Good guy zombie tells you when he's about to eat your brain. As you can see, the preview of the zombies looks a lot more intimidating, but that's because we have a conveyor belt that actually brings us actual plants, not just walnuts to bowl. So we can place these plants basically anywhere we want. I'm going to go ahead and put that there because I'll take them out. Save the snow pea for whenever I might need it. Oh, we got a repeater. I'm going to go ahead and fill up all the rows with normal pea shooters and then put uh, repeaters where they're needed or the snow pea as it goes because as of now um, these guys are our generic little plants and they're what's going to be a bit more useful than everything else go ahead and put this guy out because he's going to need to charge up anyway I guess we'll put that like that that'll work and we have some walnuts just in case something goes wrong like a plant gets, or a zombie gets really close and we have to stop him. And some cherry bombs just in case we want to blow shit up. Because when wouldn't you want to blow shit up, honestly? I'm going to put that there. Mmm, a normal pea shooter. This is one of the, like, levels that you'd want to uh, use the shovel a bit on. Because, um, if you're getting a little too close to, like, this edge, whenever you're setting down your plants, because we'll be, we will be getting a lot of plants. If you get a little close to this edge, you might want to like maybe replace some of the normal pea shooters with maybe a a snow pea or a repeater. As you as you can see, I'm going to try and um, get it to where I don't have two snow peas on one row. All right, so yeah, like now I'm gonna go ahead and put a repeater on here. Actually, it would have been smarter to put it right here where there's not a repeater already at. These should be able to take that guy out. Yeah, I'm going to start um, replacing all of these with uh, repeaters. And just put out the uh, normal pea shooters wherever they're needed. Or wherever I really care to put them. Now, one of the bad things about the potato mine, I guess, is it's not really used practically in like levels when you're already developed your defense. Because as you can see, the zombies aren't really going to be getting to them. 
And as far as that goes, walnuts are a much better defense than just one potato mine that's going to be able to take out one zombie. So we'll be noticing that a couple times. Now we won't be using potato mines later in. I'll just kill these guys, there's two of them. Hmm, but what we can do is this. Oh, well that'd be stupid because it wouldn't... You know what, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't give a damn. Actually, you know what? Nom! Uh, if you'll, if you will take notice, please, um, whenever, uh, a huge wave starts, you notice the front, zombie in front will have a flag held up above him. That zombie actually moves slightly faster than all the normal zombies, so just in case you care, a little tidbit of information. And yes, a cherry bomb will explode and ate one of these guys when they're in the air. So basically, they're gonna be, they're not gonna be jumping in over any cherry bombs without getting hit in the face start replacing all of these guys with repeaters there's not much I can replace with repeaters at this point I'm just put these guys out willy-nilly because they're not that important look at this this is crazy no hold on because the repeaters are more important I want them to have a I want to have them a little farther back and for the for the sake of symmetry I'll just put all the potato mines right here because why not Get out of here. We don't want your bucket ass heads. Well, here's a chance to put a snow pea up here. And I'll put one right here if I ever get another. If I do. Keyword. Uh, here you go. Ah, where should I put it? I'll put it right here. Makes me wonder if a zombie's going to be able to get to it before it... Oh, crap! Well, I guess that's one advantage to having the potato mines right here I mean geez kind of caught me off guard I was like oh shit oh well how to get through all of this I mean seriously ah, I see there's only one repeater on this so that kind of stands to reason there you go put this guy right here to eat that guy now we have another snow piece so I'll place this guy with it go ahead and fill up everything there's no reason not to put another snow pea somewhere if, you know, you have the room, so. Because why wouldn't you, honestly? Go ahead and put you there. And replace that guy. If any zombie manages to ever get this far. Here, speed up the process. Yeah, so this is pretty much how every single 10th level is going to be like. Uh, you will have all these plants given to you on a conveyor belt. And they'll be customized for whatever world you're on, so, yeah. Explodinate these guys. Actually, I probably should have done it right here so I could have explodinated these guys, explodinated these guys, and we're done. And we got another mushroom. Uh, another mushroom. No, this is our first mushroom, and it's actually a puff shroom, as you'll see now. Shoots short-range spores at the enemy. Now, these guys will only be able to work in spoiler alert. Yeah, we're not going to find out what the next world is because we're on the next world. We're not going to find out what it is until next episode because that's five levels. So, uh, that is the end of this episode. I will see you all next time when we go on to world two. See you all then.